Hello everyone, this is Mario, welcome back to my channel. It is finally upon us. The first grand tour of the 2019 cycling season, the Giro d'Italia, which will take the riders from Bologna in the first stage with an individual time trial, to Verona in the 21st and last stage, which is also an individual time trial. Of course, this Giro d'Italia has been highly uh, anticipated, a lot of hype has been created around it and with actually good reasons because last year's edition was very spectacular. We had Simon Yates completely ruling the race for um, most of its duration until the 18th uh, stage. He was completely dominant and then on the 19th stage the famous Chris Froome victory in that stage in the Colle delle Finestre where Simon Yates's legs completely failed him uh, as Chris Froome managed to snatch the, the win on that stage and take the pink jersey. So as usual, once again, I'm going to use the official start list uh, for the Giro d'Italia. The main favorites will be Tom Dumoulin from Sunweb. He was the winner in 2017. Also, Simon Yates, who almost won uh, in 2018 from Michelton Scott. Primus Roglic, who has been performing magnificently so far in the season. He has collected many victories so far. And also the two times winner of the Giro d'Italia, Vincenzo Nibali. We also have some outside uh, favorites for this race. In Astana, mainly Miguel Angel Lopez, who was third last year in the Giro d'Italia. We also have to count with um, Rafael Maica in Bora. In the Koenig Quick Step, we have Bob Jungels, that can also be an outsider for the GC. Katusha bring Ilnur Zakarin. Movistar bring last year's fourth placed rider in Giro. Richard Carapaz and also Mikel Landa. And maybe we can also consider Boke Molema as one of the GC contenders, at least for the top 10. And saying that, I'm actually going to ride with Trek Segafredo. The reason why I'm choosing Trek is because I want a rider that can fight for a decent position in the GC. So Boke Molema will manage, will let me do that, although he is not the best climber nor the best time trialist in, in this field. Um, I will try and pull a top 5 GC finish with him. So I want a rider that allows me to fight for, uh, for the GC and also a team that lets me um, challenge in sprint stages. And there we have Matteo Moschetti. He's a very promising sprinter, but currently is not uh, world-class. So it will be a big struggle to win st sprint stages, especially considering that there are world-class world sprinters here like Gaviria, Caleb Ewan, um, Elia Viviani. And it's not going to be easy to win a sprint with Moschetti, but I will try and do that. So heading to the first stage, um, starting in the city center of Bologna and ending in the outskirts of the city in the um, Santuario di San Luca. And the top favorites for this uh, first stage are Tom Dumoulin, Victor Campanart and Primoz Roglic. And we have Boke Molema in the top 10 favorites. So Let's see how we do. So we are underway with this first stage. Matteo Moschetti is our first rider. And as usual, uh, I'm going to try and assess the difficulty of this stage to then adjust the, the effort needed for the top riders, Giulio Ciccone, Gianluca Brambilla and Boke Molema. So Giulio Ciccone is now starting his time trial. Um, he's not having a great fitness. He's only at 80% fitness, but he's having a plus two race day condition. So it's 
um, going to compensate for that. Our best rider so far is Nicola Conchi. He's currently 22nd, 46 seconds down on the best time, which is now held by Bob Jungels. So Ciccone is now starting the most difficult part of this time trial, and it's also the the climb is also where he fits better. So let's see if he can do anything. He's almost catching up with Biermans. Let's see. Ciccone still one kilometer to go. I have to lower. No, I'll keep 75. I think it should be enough. Mm, I need to lower this a bit. He's wasting a lot of energy now. Almost finishing. Now a flat section or a flatter section. Let's see how Ciccone does. And 12th, 12th time, 27, 27 seconds behind Bob Jungels. It's now Gianluca Brambilla starting his time trial. I will use the same strategy as with Giulio Ciccone. So saving a bit more energy in the flat section where Brambilla is not as strong and then pushing harder in the final climb. So 800 meters for Gianluca Brambilla. Let's see how he does. He's not having a good race day today. Oh, he lost all his en energy already too soon, maybe. And he gets the 13th best time, the same time as Giulio Ciccone, 27 seconds down on Bob Jungels. And then Pelio Bilbao just finished, just five seconds lost to Bob Jungels. Very strong performance by Bilbao. We also have Andre Amador finishing his time trial. Let's see how he does. Sixth. Bokemolema is now going to start his time trial. He is having a great fitness, so 96%, 96%. It's very good. Although he has a minus one race day condition, which is not going to be very helpful for today. Gasparotto. 1 minute and 11 lost, then Formolo only 15 seconds down on Bob Jungel's time, and Zakarin got the best time. Ilnur Zakarin, 12 seconds faster than Bob Jungel's. Very strong. And Molema is out of energy, is not going to be great. 13 seconds down on Zakarin, fourth best time. Actually, not that bad. Now Miguel Angel Lopez, wow, just one second down on Zakarin. Now Simon Yates. Let's see if he beats the Russian rider. No, he loses 18 seconds. He was worse than Bokemolema. Mikel Landa is the next one. 15 seconds lost to Zakarin. Is Zakarin taking the win here? We also have Gaviria and Viviani and Roglic already passed Viviani and he could do the same to Gaviria. Is he going to beat Zakarin's time? He can actually do it, let's see. And best time for Primoz Roglic. Four seconds faster than Zakarin. Now Tom Dumoulin, can he beat Roglic? And he does. Four seconds faster. Vincenzo Nibali is going to be the last one. I don't think he's going to beat Dumoulin's time. Let's see how he does. Vincenzo Nibali, 12 only. He loses 32 seconds. And that's it. Tom Dumoulin wins the first stage of the Giro d'Italia 2019, five seconds faster than Primoz Roglic. As for Boke Molema, he got the seventh best time, 24 seconds down on Tom Dumoulin. Dumoulin, of course, now leads the GC. So it's a promising start for the 2017 winner of the Giro d'Italia. So this was it for the first stage. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very interesting um, time trial. Some unexpected results, such as Miguel Angel Lopez doing the fourth best time in this time trial. Also Rafael Maika with the fifth best time. It's quite surprising. Miguel Landa did very good as well. And the biggest disappoint disappointments, I think, are Simon Yates and Vincenzo Nibali. I wasn't expecting them to lose this much time in such a short time trial. 
Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. And actually the two favorites, the two top favorites for the GC in this Giro managed the two best times. As for our rider, Bo- Boke Molema, 24 seconds lost to Tom Dumoulin is not bad. So it's a strong foundation for for him to get a top five finish, as we hope. So let's look at the second stage. The second stage is supposedly a flat stage, although there are these two um, hills quite near the, the finish of, of the stage. If some teams attack here, they may as well destroy the peloton and leave the sprinters behind. So... We will see in the next video um, how that goes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please uh, like the video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important for me to keep doing this. And I hope to see you next time for the second stage of the Giro d'Italia.